boys and girls. Welcome back to another week of Junior Church. So today, we're going to be talking about the story of when Jesus taught in Nazareth. Um, so before we even start the lesson, we're going to do a little activity. So you're going to have to kind of play with me here. Um, it's going to be slight, it, this is going to be more imaginations on my behalf and yours. So what I want you guys to do is I'm going to make a silly face. Whatever kind of silly face, okay? And then you guys are either going to accept it and do the silly face, or you're going to be like, nah, I don't want to do that face, and you're just going to be like, nope, and thumbs down. I'm rejecting it. Now, I can't see if you object or accept, but we're just going to play it by ear. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a couple of faces. And you guys are either going to accept it or you're going to object it, meaning you're not going to do it. So you're going to either do it or you're not going to do it. All right, first one. Making a little monkey, pulling ears out. So you can either do it, accept it, or reject it. All right, next one. Take it out. Take it out. Can you do it? Oh, you down. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that um. This is hard. Let's think. Let's do one more. You can either accept it or you can reject it, meaning you don't need to do it. Eee. Squinty face. This is this is all I can really think of. All right. So. This, I know it's not the same as being in person, but that was the best I could do with this. So, those were some silly faces, weren't they? I don't blame you for rejecting some of them. Some of them, I wouldn't, I'd done them, but I wouldn't have did them if, like, other people were here. That makes sense. So today we're going to learn about a time when Jesus was rejected, even though his offer was wonderful and true. Who do you think rejected Jesus? So as we're going through the story, I want you to think about that. Who do you think rejected him? So now we're going to actually start in our story. So like I say, every single week, all the stories that we read about, all that we talk about every single Sunday at Junior Church, they are all from the Bible. They are all stories from the Bible that teach us about who Jesus is, what he's done, and what other people in the Bible have done, and they teach us how to be Christians and what we should do. God talks through the Bible through, to us. So our chapter we're going to be in is Luke chapter 4. So that's where we are going from the story in here. I'm going to read from my booklet, but if you want to open up to Luke chapter 4, that's where I'm talking from. So Jesus taught in Nazareth. Jesus went to the town of Nazareth, where he had lived when he was a boy. Now Jesus was grown. So he grew up in Nazareth. He knew everyone there, and his father was a carpenter, so everyone knew him as a carpenter. And now he is a fully grown man, and he returns back to the town. He traveled all around teaching people about God. On the Sabbath day, Jesus went to synagogue in Nazareth. The synagogue was a special place where Jews met together to pray, worship, and learn about scripture. So he went on Sabbath, on Sabbath day. So Sabbath day in the Bible is the one day where you don't teach, you don't do anything. It's just kind of a day of where you rest. So this doesn't look too good. People don't, people in the, in the Bible before get upset when he teaches things on Sabbath or does things on the Sabbath day. Jesus stood up to read scripture. He unrolled the scroll of the prophet Isaiah and read. Scroll is just kind of like what they had for books, but they didn't have books. They had like pieces of paper that they rolled up. It says, the, script, the spirit of the Lord is on me. He has chosen me to tell good news to the poor. He has sent me to tell the captives 
that they are free to tell the blind that they can see, to free people who have, seen, who have been treated badly, and to announce, announce that the Lord's favor is on them. Then Jesus rolled up the scroll. He gave it to the attendant, and he sat down. So he read this paper, and he read about it, and he told the people what this says, and he sat down, and now let's see what the people do. Everyone in the synagogue started, stared at Jesus. Jesus said, today, as you listen to me, reading these words, they come true. The people said good things about Jesus, and they were amazed at him. But some of the people in Nazareth had known Jesus from his youth. Isn't that Joseph's son, they asked? Jesus said, no, prophet is accepted in this hometown. Yes, Jesus told the people about the time when God used prophets to help people who were not Jews. He reminded them of Elijah and Elisha. So the people remembered him from when he was a little boy. And like I said before, they rem remembered, oh, he's Joseph boy, the carpenter. He is the little boy that was in this town growing up. So they remembered him. When there was a terrible famine in Israel, and no rain fell there for three and a half years, plenty of window, windows, widows in the country needed help. But the prophet Elijah did not help the widows in Israel. Instead, God sent Elisha to help a widow in another land. When Elisha was a prophet, many people in Israel had leprosy. So last week we kind of talked about leprosy. But to remind you, leprosy is a skin disease. When you, when you kind of get it, it's, it doesn't, your skin doesn't react well, and it's very contagious, meaning like if I have it and then I touch you, you have it. So people kind of put them in their own little place and went nowhere near them. Um, they wanted to be healed, but Alicia did not heal them. Instead, he healed a man named Nahum, and Nahum was from, from Syria, a country that hated God's people. The people in the synagogue were angry. They forced Jesus out of town. They wanted to throw him off the cliff, but Jesus walked right through the crowd and went on his way. So the people heard this story and they were upset. They were upset at Jesus that, that, they, that Nahum was healed and not the people with leprosy. So you can see in this picture back here how Jesus is sitting there and he's telling the story. He's re he read the scroll. And these are all the people that were in the synagogue getting upset with him afterwards. So hundreds of years before Jesus was born, the prophet Isaiah wrote about God's plan to send a Messiah. The Messiah would bring good news and redeem people who were broken and hurting. Jesus read Messiah's words and announced that he is the promised Messiah. So, that was our lesson today about how Jesus taught in the synagogue in Nazareth where he was from. Um, so I thought that was an interesting story. So, let's go over our questions for this. Let me just find it. There we go. <sighs> okay. Where did Jesus grow up? So think back, where did he grow up? We talked about it in the story. He grew up in Nazareth. From whose scroll did Jesus read? So who is the person that he read about? He read the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah's scroll. How did the people react to Jesus? So how did they react? How did they first react, and then how did they react later on? So think back. How did they react? They were amazed at first, and, then, and confused. And then they became angry. How do we know Jesus really is the Messiah? So think about that. How do we really know that Jesus is the real Messiah?
So Jesus is able to heal people. And that he is called the Son of God. Jesus' claim in this story is well supported by all the evidence. So everything that we talk about in the Bible supports that Jesus is the Son of God, that he is the Messiah. It talks about all the healing that he has done. It talks about everything, every miracle that he's ever done. And that proves to us that Jesus is the Messiah. What does it mean to accept Jesus rather than reject him? So what are your thoughts? What does it mean to accept Jesus rather than reject him? Well, we, hold on. He is the Lord of our lives, right? And when we believe in Jesus, we are saying that we want him to guide and control our lives. We want to obey him out of love and serve him to glorify God. Jesus taught us that he is the Messiah. Jesus loves people and wants to see everyone rescued from skin, sin. We cannot make people believe, but we can tell them the good news so they can believe and be saved. So like every single week that I remind you, we are disciples. We are Go out and preach the word to the world. We show people who Jesus is. We tell this to people that don't know Jesus. We tell this to our friends, our family, even strangers. When we talk about God, we are preaching the word and we are showing them that Jesus cares and that Jesus loves them. And I know at times that can be very scary I mean, I've done that where I don't say something because I'm terrified. But if you let Jesus work through you, he will give you the Holy Spirit to talk to these people and give you the words that you need, the courage that you need. So I just want you guys to remember this. I am going to close this in a word of prayer now. Dear Lord, um, I just want to thank you for this group of children that tuned in this week, Lord. Um, I just pray that we that they understood the, the Bible lesson today, Lord, um, and that they remember that no matter what, they are here on this earth and that they're going to show the world who Jesus is. And that he is a person that loves us and that he wants the world to know that he loves every single person on this earth, Lord. Um, and I just hope that these kids understood the lesson and that they will go and tell someone that they don't know, tell someone that doesn't know Jesus who he is, Lord, who you are, Lord. Amen. All right. I will see you guys later. Bye.